I know that I'm like a few hours late or something, but there, but of course, not a lot has happened. Right now it's 9.28, close to be 9.30 p.m. And it's uh, 90 degrees outside. So, the day went on pretty normal. An average day of me thinking, reflecting, trying to think of some other possibilities to find more old friends and their discords. Uh, and lots of, lots of stuff. Meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, the day went on, you know, the day went on until I had lunch and whatsoever, and found out that one of my old Twitter roleplay friends, uh, apparently have had a secret alt account that I have no and it took me like one check up on a relatable account. Just add one. And guess what? It uh, it went out to be so true. And I actually got off to them and to their discords. Which is honestly kinda of something like they and, uh, it's really assuring to have that with me. Although, it is a bit late, because tomorrow's the last day of me attempting to search for more Twitter friends. And after tomorrow, I'm going to deactivate out of it. After I give my final advice to the people in the DMs, of course. gonna try and make things pretty decent. Uh, aside from all of that, nothing really happened. Aside from the usual boredom and the good old emptiness of um, barely any reply or any interactions, whether it's roleplay or non roleplay on Discord or even on Twitter. But there is one thing that happened, which is I have played uh, Metal Gear Rising. I reached it to the beginning of the Soul stage, and let me tell you, it was fun. It was actually pretty fun. Like, uh, the stories, the usual boring ass stories and all, especially when it literally links uh, links most bullshit plots to real life wars and Russian related stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, the gameplay is the gameplay is fun. The voice acting is quite cool. Most of the laughs and stuff you can get out of it is. Nice. And the soundtrack. It is pretty awesome. Uh, the Rules of Nature did a pretty good introduction to what I'm about to see <laughs> for the next few sections in the game. And uh, then there's Mistral. Yeah. All of those arms were absolutely unnecessary. But she's something. Can't really say she's hot and all that crap. Yeah, not something for our little. Anyways, the gameplay is the gameplay is really satisfying, especially when it's a spin-off that gets you off from all of the. Stills related bullshit. Like, wow. And, uh, stills is 100% optional as shit. I'm not even kidding. Like, 
tail sections are up to the left. And I'm going to be honest, like as much as I like the gameplay, the story, I will never take it seriously. Especially after watching uh, Max Horror's good old uh, inaccurate summary. <laughs> the thing is just way too funny. And honestly, it explains how Metal Gear Rising turned from a pretty good game into a meme fucking fountain. I'm not even kidding. Like, almost everywhere, you could see lots of people bringing out Metal Gear Rising related memes. Such as random faces from the Jetstream Sam, or and, and lots of fucking uh, Senator Armstrong memes. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> like, especially that one time in Max Horror's video where uh, Raiden is like, I was wrong about you, Senator. You're not cringe. You're just fucking racist. <laughs> like seriously, like seriously, that part is just a hit of so hard. Like you're just fucking racist. <laughs> like it honestly weighs the same funny, uh, funny value, uh, the same as when he right in originally says, "You're not crazy. You're batshit insane." Like, damn, bro. And I'm kind of excited to fight off uh, Senator Buff Strong. <laughs> yep, it's me. His memes and whatsoever has just got into me. I guess I'm gonna wait until I reach Deadstream uh, Sam and Buzz Doubter. <laughs> oh boy, it's just crazy. Sussy Jack. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop. Cause really, Metal Gear Rising became a fucking fountain of memes after it used to be a pretty cool game. It's a spin off from the original Metal Gear Solid series. And, uh, but overall, it's a pretty fun game. It's a pretty fun game for the most part. Later on, I'm going to be finding more and more about it. And, uh, aside of all that, like I said, nothing will really happen. Except uh, the regular freaking uh, emptiness on social media, where barely, there is barely any conversation happening, and barely any interactivity happening. Although, uh, I can honestly say that, uh, and honestly, there were lots of times where I could literally just use that time of waiting for those people to reply to me into fucking studying a little bit for my college. But, uh, I'm stupid. You know, I'm just stupid and, yeah, too stupid to even begin studying, but that's just me, you know, just, just me, and I know someone is going to come out in my comments, that is pretty much going to be one of the server, if there is any of them remaining on the fucking YouTube, that are going to try to fucking ruin my day, especially with that one guy who literally... He literally was like, I saw you yesterday, I saw you yesterday, and I, and I was like, uh, saw me yesterday, you know what, leaving Joe's house. And from that point, I literally understood that it was a fucking bait to Joe Mama's fucking joke. I, I swear, like, and when he did that joke, we all the even saw I said, oh yeah, I see what you're trying to do here. Yeah, no. And they did it anyways. I deleted the comment because really, someone is coming at me with a Joe Mama joke. What else is gonna be coming at me? Is someone with a fucking these nuts joke? Really? You see, this is why I fucking 
I fucking don't feel safe on the fucking internet. It was all the trolling and all the bullshit. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, do you mind not trolling me? I mean, I'm sorry that like my fucking stuff got recommended to you while you're just browsing some, I don't know, some super funny memes that are gonna make you kill yourself from the laughter. But if you're gonna troll someone, troll someone else that you at your own fucking size, not me. Because believe me, if I see anyone who's, who's gonna be fucking trying to troll me again in the fucking comments, I'm gonna delete their goddamn comment. And I'm pretty much gonna call them out. Cause, yeah, I'm not taking these stupid jokes, alright? Uh. It's almost as suspicious as the people from the server trying to fucking cancel me. So, just no, okay? But, um, sorry for that. I guess it's cool. I guess things are pretty cool for now. Pretty peaceful for the time being. Just gonna hope that this peace continues. Just gonna hope that I can uh, spend the rest of the day and uh, I don't know. Try not to get involved into any more bullshit. So um, yeah, and uh, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in here. Cause. I honestly am beginning to lose what I usually want to talk about. Because what I usually would talk about is the same old repetitive thing about uh, regretting of being on social media in the first place and, you know, regrets and regrets. Basically, it's been all about regrets. And I've been doing nothing but regretting. And uh, moving on is a fucking struggle. It's going to take a year and a half. And the results are going to be worth it. I just know it. <sighs> but honestly, there's one thing that I'm going to repeat about talking about for a tiny bit right now. It's the fact that my only goddamn place that I would think of that I would be like, yeah, it's already fucked up, so let's just go in there and get fucked up even more. Even that, I can't handle it anymore. AKA Twitter. Like, honestly, if it wasn't for me getting blocked like three, by three fucking people, from, especially people from my past, and one of them have blocked me the second time, if it wasn't for that, yeah, uh, I would have eventually have given a little thought about bringing that my account and, uh, you know, um, just relax, you know, bringing back uh, myself into role playing. Uh, improving a little bit of my own role-playing style whatsoever. And if anyone just try to come in there and try to cancel culture me or whatsoever, I would honestly just uh, do my job on calling them out. Because after all, uh, the eye was the eye, the tooth was the tooth, face was the face, and the one began all this is the biggest piece of shit of all. Honestly. And, uh... I know it's gonna turn on me, but... At that point, it will be literally killed. It will be literally killed or be killed. Especially after... Especially with all the old friends around. But uh, even that, like I said, I wouldn't 
wouldn't be able to reach to, you know. Even being on Twitter is impossible. And I honestly wouldn't be at a part where I get called out at some point, because, like I said, I cannot. I cannot put myself anymore into these situations again. Now, and honestly, I know that it is. I know that um, maybe it isn't a big deal because role playing is a hobby and all, but I just cannot deny that I have had. Lots of good memories, but uh, I guess these memories are short-lived, because again, it was me all along. I messed up those memories, I ruined myself, I got myself into those scenarios. Like you see, the person is the only one that can direct himself towards a very great scenario or a completely shit scenario that's gonna get him dropped into the pit of hell. Like the continued pit from Mortal Kombat 4. I know, it's a pretty stupid reference and everything, but believe me, uh, it's just uh, that kind of way, you know? It's just, it's just kind of bullshit. Honestly, I cannot deny, I just cannot deny the fact that I almost, uh, yeah, you know what, forget about that last thing, you know, it kind of doesn't make sense, but you get my point, right? The only place that I thought that it was going to be my home, and also my goddamn war zone, A.K.A. a place where I could have fun and have dramas at the same time. Not not, not by my choice, but dramas are always going to come over to my face. Anyway, uh, I just... Uh, yeah, it just pisses me off that Twitter became even more worse. I knew, and I'm telling you this, if I knew that I was going to get set up like this, 
And I was gonna get involved in a fucking drama like that. Especially from the fucking day of my field trip outside. I swear to god, he just screenshotted every single fucking thing. Which means exposing them and myself, taking down myself and pretty much the entire server at one. If I had the chance to expose them, I would have done that. Because. But then again, I was too naive. You know, too much trusting towards those people. But. Thank God, this whole thing went on a stalemate. Not pretty much a stalemate, but still. Thank God it went on a pretty good hold until now. And I prefer that it stays this way, you know? I don't need any of them coming into my fucking channel and ruining my day. Nor I would want to fucking go into the server by another completely different alt and uh, with a fucking superly made uh, you know, uh, role playing thing, and uh, yeah, basically, I just cannot put myself into this fucking situation again. Yeah, you know what? Well, let's just forget about all of that random crap right now. In fact, I'm just gonna end this one right here, because, yeah, apparently my brain just right now just went into a pretty big old limbo, and jumbled all talks and socks like together. But, honestly, I kind of feel good. I kind of feel good that I don't have to fucking, uh, you know, don't have to fucking get into any more dramas again. Because once again, and I'm just going to emphasize on that, I'd rather be stabbed by a fucking tree, uh, tree's edge, or just a fucking leaf, or a random wood stick. I'd rather be stabbed to death by that than to get involved into any more internet dramas. Yeah. And, I would, and I'm just gonna say this out loud. You know? I'm just gonna say it out loud. I would rather for my dick to be burned down than to be called a fucking pedophile again. Yeah. If I get... Like, I would rather... Like, I'm serious. I would rather have my dick burned than to be involved into any more fucking bit of failure bullshit. Cause... Yeah. I'd rather... I'd rather die than to be a pedophile. And that's where I'm gonna 